Hi everyone, this is Crypto Guy in South Africa. So today, Binance has eventually opened the gates. They have eventually um, let TRX withdrawals happen. So with that happening, um, you know, in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your TRX from Binance into Transcan um, or into Wallet and then vote with it for your transfer representative. But before I get into that, I just want to show you something that we're doing here. So as an opening celebration for Binance, um, CryptoGuy and ZA and CryptoChain have been working on a pay engine and we are now taking it to the next level and we are actually going to give 100% rewards back to our voters. We're going to be paying on a daily basis and then we've got 6,000 Tron to give away to our voters. And you know, just to give it a, a bit of an idea, we're going to give 1,000 TRX to two separate voters from two separate voting voters. So 1,000 TRX to my voters on 15th of July, 1,000 TRX to anyone in crypto chains voters. And when I say that 1,000 TRX is gonna to go to one voter that we're gonna randomly select out of a pool. And then again, on the 22nd, 2,000 Tron to one of the voters of crypto chain, 2,000 Tron um, given to any one of the voters of crypto guy and ZA. Um, the rules, it's pretty simple. What are we going to do is if you vote for us, you automatically get 100% um, rewards. Okay, so if you vote for either of us, you're going to get 100% rewards from us. You can track it on this uh, address and you can see everything. And then on another note, um, from a prize perspective, you know, what we're doing is we're making like a little mini raffle pool. So the more you vote for us and the more consistent you are with us in the voting cycles, we will then give you tickets that will go into this pool and will be withdrawn out of it. So to give you an example, if you read through here, it'll tell you how it works. But basically, for every 1,000 TRX, you will get a ticket into the pool. And then for, um, you know, if you consistently uh, vote for us, you'll then also get a little booster, if you want to call it that. But have a read. It is here. I'm not going to focus mainly on this. And then on an, another piece, you can go to this uh, URL. And at that URL, you can then see how many tickets you've got in um, for the draw that will happen. Again, it's not just about rewards. You know, make sure you're familiar with who you're voting with. There's Crypto Chain here, there's Crypto Guy and ZA. We've both got our details here. We've both got what we've done to the community. For example, Crypto Chain has brought in the Nano Ledger integration. Uh, it's working on the Trezor integration and so on. And then my, a lot of my work, you can see it out there um, if you follow me. But anyway, let's jump into how we can actually withdraw from Binance. So first things first, you've got to log into Binance. I've already logged in. Um, as you can see, I do not have millions and millions of Tron like some of the people. I only have 17,000 and a half Tron um, that was in Binance, Tron TRX, however you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to be withdrawing that and then just voting with it and taking it from there. So first things first, you've got to create a wallet. So you can go to Tronscan. We can then say create wallet. You've got to then put a password. Okay, once you put the password, you go next. You can then download the encrypted key. The encrypted key will download. Keep that safe, you will always need that. I'm just gonna close it over here. Then you go next. Make sure to keep your private key safe. And then we can go next. And then we can go to account page. Okay, then you'll have your wallet address here. Now a good test is always to make sure you can log back in. So a good test would be to sign out then select your key again okay so we select the key make sure the password works okay wallet unlocked and then we know it works and then from here we can then transfer it once we are comfortable that we can get back in okay then what you can do then is you copy this address you go to your Binance, you'll see where your Tron is, and you say, I want to withdraw. And you put an address. So this is the address was a ERC20 token address that I had before. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to put another label here. We're going to put this address. Let's just go back here, make sure the address is right, it is correct. 
and then I can say how much. Now, a good test would be to transfer a small amount. So transfer maybe 2,000 just to make sure it works. And then once you've transferred that 2,000, if you're comfortable, then you can come back and transfer some more. So then I'm gonna go submit. Then I need to enter SMS code. So I'm gonna tell it to SMS me. And then enter my code. Now we get a confirmation email that I've got to then confirm. History, a little bit of better place to look at, and you can say withdrawal, and then we can see it's withdrawing over there. Once the processing is done, it should then show in Tronscan. Okay, so it'll process, it'll take a little bit of time. Here, Tronscan, it will start to appear here. So, once we go over here, we can see that it has been sent. You've received your 1999 TRX. I've sent 2000, cost me one TRX, and then I'm going to show you now how to vote with this. So, what we can then do is we can go freeze, we then set 1999. So, you've got to freeze your TRX, and then you do that, and you say freeze balance, and it's going to give you say that you know it was successful. Um, and then you won't be able to unfreeze it for three, three days. So you can see your frozen tokens are locked for a period of three days. Now, after those three days, it doesn't mean your vote goes away. Your vote will remain with whoever you vote with um, in this time. So that is what it happens. It's just giving you that, you know, if you want to unfreeze it, you have to wait three days. But even during those three days, you can always change your votes. You don't have to stay with one person. So then you can click over here. Then you can go see who you want to vote for. So you say click here to start voting. You can scroll down. And then you'll see all the people that you can vote for. You can obviously open the team page to get a little bit more information. So I'm going to do that. Open the team page as an example. It's busy loading. And then we can get information about me as a Tron SR. You can see there's a whole bunch of links, Tron Live campaign video, um, you know, some YouTube videos uh, that I've made on, you know, how I've I see being a stable network, community driven, uh, the payment engine that I've created with Crypto Chain. Uh, we've worked, both worked on together. He's putting some good coding in there. So between that, now you can go vote. Now, remember, if you want to do this competition, Binance opening celebration, read the rules, decide who you want to vote for. Make sure, you know, you're not just voting for rewards. Vote, you know, if you really like these guys. So just to give you an example, I'm going, and then you don't have to vote for one person. You can vote a thousand here. Um, and then we can put, for example, 999 there as an example. And then we can say, submit votes. And then your votes goes through. So thank you for voting. Your votes successfully submitted. And then you can say, okay, 